Fuzzy and Nuts have been on a journey through time, helping us answer questions like what were the worst natural disasters in history, what were some of the worst jobs ever, and what was life like in the Stone Age. Today though, Fuzzy and Nuts have landed 5,000 years in the past and are going to help us see what were some of mankind's earliest civilizations. Spanning an astonishing 30 centuries, ancient Egypt was one of the earliest and most long-lived of all human civilizations. It's thought that wandering tribes of hunter-gatherers began to settle along the banks of the Nile as far as 8,000 years ago. But it wasn't until about 3400 BC that the first true kingdoms arose on the Nile. The Red Land occupied the Nile River Delta and stretched south as far as Atfi, while the White Land in the south stretched from Atfi to Gebel el Silsila. It was a southern king, Scorpion, who made the first attempts to unify the Nile by invading the north. But it wasn't until 3100 BC that King Menes subdued the north and unified the country. Life along the Nile was far better than most other places, with the seasonal flooding providing rich farmland and abundant crops. The mighty Nile also allowed early Egyptians to freely trade up and down its length, moving goods easily from distant places. Known as the most prolific monument builders of all time, the ancient Egyptians lined the desert around the Nile with impressive pyramids, obelisks, and tombs, creating some of the few world wonders that stand to this day. Founded sometime around 2500 BC, Babylon is most widely known today for King Hammurabi and his ancient code of laws. Widely recognized as one of the earliest forms of civic code, the Code of Hammurabi was an extensive code of laws that dictated everything from laws, punishments, and policies, ranging from the wages to be paid to ox drivers or surgeons, to the liability of a builder for a house that collapses, and even provisions for judges who reach incorrect decisions and must be fined and removed from the bench permanently. An extraordinary progressive set of government policies for its time. Its like wouldn't be seen again across most of the world for thousands of years. But Babylon was famous for more than just the Code of Hammurabi, and was widely known throughout the ancient world for housing one of the most incredible wonders of the world, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Described in ancient texts across nearly every civilization, the Lost Gardens featured terraces full of flowers and fruit trees, watered by ingenious mechanically driven water wheels that reached several stories in height. Despite their mention in texts around the world, no physical site for the ancient gardens has ever been discovered, leaving some archaeologists to believe that they may have been a myth all along. The most advanced civilizations of the New World, the Mayan civilization, got its start around 2000 BC. Rather than a unified kingdom though, Mayan civilization consisted of multiple city-states with complex networks of alliances or enmities, often waging war against each other. As Mayan rulers were expected to be powerful war leaders, constant raids for captives to sacrifice or enslave were part of daily life, and many smaller city-states quickly fell in line with their more powerful neighbors forming alliances. At the height of its power though, Mayan civilization sported the most advanced form of written language in the Americas and made great strides in the field of astronomy, with their temples having some geographical orientation to the stars above. Those temples, however, are best known for the practice of blood sacrifices, which in ancient Mayan civilization was seen as the best way to appease their belligerent gods. Human sacrifice, though, was the ultimate of offerings, and Mayans often sacrificed slaves captured in war. The world of the ancient Egyptians, Babylonians, and Mayans was a dangerous one, but as Fuzzy and Nuts will discover next time, there's been far more dangerous times to live in Earth's history.